the libertarians who I, I'm afraid will be disappointed in November will you know, look at the Free State Project as a way that they can actually go and make a difference at a smaller level uh, with more impact. Hi, I'm Nick Gillespie with Reason TV, and today we're talking with Matt Phillips. He's the president of the Free State Project, which has succeeded in its initial goal of getting 20,000 people to pledge to move to New Hampshire and create a modern Galt's Galt that actually works. So, Matt, thanks for talking to Reason. Good to be here. Earlier this year, you guys, you hit the 20,000 mark, so that begins something called the Great Migration. Talk a little bit about what the timeline is for people moving there, and then what are they going to do when they get there? So people pledge to move within five years of hitting that 20,000 number, and uh, we've already got 2,000 that have already moved in advance over the last several years, and another 2,500 who already lived there who have signed the same uh, statement of intent. So we're now in the process of going and calling the remaining 18,000 and growing uh, people to say, hey, we triggered the move, you know, do you need resources, can we connect you? Um, help you figure out where you're going to live, get you a job. And, and the Free State Project has been around for over a decade now, so you have a, a community, a network of, of people and, and uh, helpers, right? Yeah, uh, it was formed uh, in 2001. Jason Sorens wrote the original article proposing the idea. By 2003, they had selected New Hampshire as the, as the destination. Uh, and then it's just been slowly, organically growing uh, since then. The Free State Project people have had significant impact on New Hampshire. Talk about some of the highlights so far and then what you're hoping to see you know, by the end of this year or over the, the next year or so. There's something like 18 Free Staters who are state reps in New Hampshire um, that have had a variety of, of legislative wins. Um, off the top of my head, uh, the, we got rid of all the knife laws in New Hampshire. Um, about so it was illegal to carry? There, there were various laws about, about types of knives and how, when you could carry them. And there is now no, no law in the books referring to knives in New Hampshire. Um, several years ago, um, we reduced the state budget by uh, 10%. Um, former president of the Free State Project, Carla Garrick, uh, had a really uh, uh, landmark court case in New Hampshire um, that affirmed the right uh, to film the police uh, in public. Um, then there's a lot of out-of-system activism where people are um, you know, trading with Bitcoin and having uh, community market days and um, you know, getting together uh, as families. Um, so there's, there's a good mix of, of activism that people are doing in New Hampshire. How does the Free State Project inter uh, intersect with you know, the 2016 election? Like, will you guys be doing stuff in New Hampshire um, that will, you know, about national politics or is it local politics? So the Free State Project itself is a 501c3 nonprofit, so we, we, we can't endorse candidates or, or active legislation. Um, but many of the people who are there because of the Free State Project are involved both at the national and the state and local level. Uh, and they're either running for office directly themselves or they're supporting candidates who are, um, or they're volunteering with uh, organizations like Americans for Prosperity. Um, that are doing various campaign, you know, issue-based campaigns around things like right to work. Are you guys uh, going to get rid of state-owned liquor stores in New Hampshire? That would seem like an easy, uh, an easy win. It would be, except for the fact that it also provides a huge amount of revenue for the state. Um, and we actually sell more, more booze per capita than any of the states around us. So a lot of people yeah. cross over the border to buy because even though it's a monopoly, it's still cheaper because of the lower taxes. Oh, that's fascinating. Talk, oh, you became the president of the Free State Project earlier this year. Um, talk about your work history. Where did you come from uh, and how did you come to, uh, to be a libertarian? So um, I, uh, I went to Princeton where I got a degree in politics, but while I was there, I, interned, I did a summer internship at the Cato Institute in DC, which is actually how I met Jason Sorens. He and I were, were fellow interns together. So um, I you know, was uh, studying um, politics, but I was writing about technology. So my senior thesis was on cryptography and privacy. And after I graduated, I went to work in New York City at DoubleClick, the online, uh, online internet advertising um, pioneer. And I worked there for about four years and then left with a colleague to co-found another company called Right Media um, to basically do a, a, a real-time auction marketplace for online advertising. Um, and I did that for four years and then I got bought by Yahoo in 2007. Um, so I took some time off and was casting around trying to figure out what I was going to do next in my life. I wanted to do something that would be you know, intellectually challenging but also you know, maybe help make the world a better place. 
and I started going to some various um, uh, libertarian conferences. I went to the Reason Cruise uh, we were just talking about uh, in 2012. And then I went to a Liberty Forum in 2013. And, and that's the winter event of the Free State Project. That's our annual yeah, winter Manchester. event up in Manchester. And uh, you know, I had signed the Statement of Intent 10 years ago right when I was starting my company. And so I was like, okay, New Hampshire, I can't, I can't deal with that right now. Fast forward 10 years, I went up there not really knowing what to expect and was just blown away by how many people there were and how much excitement and energy and buzz. And I, I started to think, oh, wow, maybe this is something that I've got to you mentioned you uh, were an intern in college at, at Cato. So did you show up to college libertarian? And if so, what, what's your libertarian origin story? Um, the, earliest, the earliest thing I can point to is that in high school, um, as a public speaking exercise, all the seniors had to, had to give a short speech. And one of my classmates gave a talk about hemp regulation, not, not about the, the marijuana drug side of it, just about the industrial side of it. And I think that sort of sparked a little question of like, yeah, hey, wait a minute, why? That doesn't make any sense. Why do we do that? You know, a lot of libertarians, uh, and we're, we're speaking here at Freedom Fest, and a lot of libertarians are either super optimistic about the future or terribly pessimistic. And you know, the, the future, the country's been ruined since 1789 or something. Uh, you're more of an optimist. What, uh, what? Obviously, the Free State Project is, you know, creating liberty or freedom in our a lifetime. Uh, as part of the slogan goes, but why are you optimistic, and uh, you know, and where where does that lead you? Yeah, I'm optimistic. Uh, you know what we're doing in New Hampshire. Uh, I get to see sort of day in day out. I get emails from people that are you know say, hey, I'm moving. Um, so I see what that what we're doing is really on the cusp of of starting to generate some pretty exciting results, and that affords me the luxury of not worrying so much about what's happening, the disaster that's happening uh, at the national level. Um, Regardless of, of who wins or loses uh, come this fall, we're still going to be doing what we're doing. And hopefully, uh, you know, the libertarians who I, I'm afraid will be disappointed in November will, you know, look at the Free State Project as a way that they can actually go and make a difference at a smaller level uh, with more impact. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nick. We've been talking with Matt Phillips. He's the president of the Free State Project. Uh, check it out online at freestateproject.org and uh, move to New Hampshire. Uh, you won't be sorry. For Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie.